टू दी अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड्स ऑफ मेटल फॉर्मिंग दी एक्सक्लूसिव पॉडकास्ट वी आर शो केसिंग फ्रॉम इमटेक्स फॉर्मिंग टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एंड आई एम हैविंग अविन पद्म प्रभा वी कैन से अ पर्सन हु इज हैविंग वेरी पैशनेट अबाउट ब्रिंगिंग क्वालिटी टू एवरी शॉप रोड अ मिशन वॉट की अपुट एक्चुअली आई मेट हिम इन ईमो हैन ओवर एंड आई एम टेलिंग यू आई एम सो हैप्पी that this scan box i took uh, when i gone there such a big scan box it was there mr hemant was there we took a picture and uh, we published that that time the news yes. but in this imtex you were able to bring this scan box here yes. huh yes that that is what i'm telling you someone was telling me uh, in india uh, people don't get the uh, technology faster faster yes. but i think zais is proving it wrong <laughs> right huh? the absolutely right. this scan box is there here how important is quality in this metal forming uh, industry yeah so uh, hari uh, hello all uh, as hari said i, I my name is amin padma prabha i i work with zais i head the industrial quality solutions in al zais yeah thanks thanks hari for that very nice introduction yes we did met at uh, Emo Hanover, and we saw the scan box. We took a picture. Yeah, this is exactly you know the philosophy of Zeiss. Whatever latest you know we have, the innovation what uh, Zeiss brings to the global universe, I would say, it is it is also brought to India. And again, scan box is a technology which was there out out of India, but uh, this was uh, something which we thought the market is evolving. the market is changing and especially when it comes to sheet metal this is a very important product you know if you have for example if you have a sheet metal part which needs to be tested for a small and make or you need to go in for a for a we call it as a gdnt gdnt is the dimensional measurement form measurement surface measurement if something needs to be done you know uh, at a at a at a at a sheet metal level you needed a high end solution like this for the indian market and this is exactly what we want to tell the manufacturing fraternity that whatever global innovations that happen we want to bring it to india make our customers experience this first hand it's not that you know uh, we would play a video and tell them that this is what you know the globally it's being sold no we want to first ourselves you know show to the show to the indian manufacturing fraternity the investment what we want to make in quality we got this demo scan box for our customers so that they come test their product get a touch and feel of their product and then decide if this really suits their requirement but i am very sure with more and more uh, industries which are coming to india especially when it comes to just to give you one example you know where this product could go uh, it could be a electric vehicle now india is becoming a real hub you know for electric vehicles the transformation is slowly happening yes ic engines are here to stay but it will slowly move towards electric vehicle we have already seen the transformation happening in the two wheeler space but when it comes to four wheeler what becomes extremely important are the noise vibration and harness harshness you want the electric electric vehicle to be quiet you know when you are driving an electric vehicle you want that to vehicle to be quiet if these parameters are to be met you need to have a fine finish of the door no no it should not rattle it should not make a sound so such finer requirements of the industry you know we could achieve with solutions like this so just to give you an example so nvh is one most important thing which the industry is looking for not only scan box we have other solutions what is available to help the industry meet this requirement the material testing and all those things see basically even metal forming and metal cutting we see yes we see more india uh, the participation for metal cutting it is more we talk about cmm or anything like that precision and all those things but i never knew that even in metal forming there are so much of critical quality checks needs to be performed Correct. and that is something a person who is not a much of an engineer yeah. but also to understand how size is giving so much of importance into this area absolutely so i spoke about the car body now the, i mean if you look at when we are talking of electric vehicle battery is the most important product inside a electric car when you look at the battery tray that is again a very 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 important product the battery tray where the battery is mounted on it so the again this measurement of a battery tray battery tray can be done using a scan box 
So, I mean, like this, there are variety of applications where we can applicate this product, and that's exactly what I told you. This product is already available at our demo center. Customers can get their product to our demo centers, get it tested, have a touch and feel of the product, and then decide. Is it required? Or then not? I am. I am also a person who have seen it myself, witnessed myself when you had a fully running technology center in Delhi. You decided to invest yeah. in IMT Manesar, and it is a so beautiful with the latest equipments. Yes. It's an investment, right? Yes. Correct. So Correct. that is very appreciable of what size is looking at India as a market. Yes. See, I mean, again, uh, there are a couple of things you know what we really want. Uh, I mean, what what we want to contribute, you know, to India. So basically, there is a good amount of quality awareness in India already. Good amount, and our our supply base from India today can compete globally anywhere. We are really good. But you know, just that you know, uh, we want to bring that consciousness today. What is prevailing, probably in the tire one and tire two, onto the tire three, tire three. Uh, supplier base so we want them to also understand the importance of quality again quality is not only for global market quality is also for the local market uh, for the domestic market because we want to be best in the, if if india has to be best in the world we have to demonstrate that there is one single quality for local as well as global so it's not that you know we'll have a different quality for the global market so in that context we want to demonstrate to our supplier fraternity that what are the solutions today that are available for them to be making a quality best quality product and also how they can be competitive with other players in the global market so this is exactly what we want to do bring that awareness bring that consciousness amongst our suppliers to be competitive so in that context what we have done is we have made investments in all our quality excellence centers today we have five across india we will be planning with a we are actually planning with a couple of more this year and next year this is exactly to tell the indian supplier fraternity please do come and witness the solutions what we already have you know to make your processes more stable to reduce your scrap rate be competitive not only in terms of quality also in terms of margins how you can be more productive in your in your manufacturing locations so we want you to come sit with our experts discuss what is the best suitable quality control equipment which is required and then you know we also provide measurement services where you can test it you know till you want you know to be very sure what equipment suits you and then finally decide and go and invest in this equipment and i think as you rightly said uh, local is now global because uh, beat uh, because the, the quality cannot be only in the top level you told it right you know the tire 3 supplier also is going to give to a tire 1 or the oem and they cannot compromise even a small when it comes to the quality and that's something amazing uh, what you are doing and i think that is also one reason like you know they don't just this i think you are the blue boat project yes what you are coming in bangalore that you are going to localize your supply chain and making in india correct so uh, is it how is it connected with the growth what india is now taking up yes see if we and we are i mean we are conscious very conscious about this make in india and if we ourselves you no know, don't make in india how can we tell you know the world, i mean the other other uh, customers in india to make in india so we we ourselves want to prove us prove ourselves first to make the products in india and then tell you please make in india we are here to support from the quality side so in that context uh, we are we have a we have a road map that we have now developed for to be make in india where india becomes a hub for the domestic market because we we estimate in the next 3 uh, to 5 years india is going to be a very big domestic market because if you really look at the penetration levels for example if i have to talk about a two wheeler or a car today the penetration level is very low so there is a huge domestic market available just look into the people who are moving you know from from a level to an upper middle class again that band is slowly growing so there is a good amount of disposable income what people have and they aspire a, a guy owning a two wheeler aspires to own a car a guy having a car aspires to own a bigger car so this is how the domestic economy grows and when such an economy grows the demand also grows when that demand grows people will invest and when people invest 
we also have to invest in to support them you know in in terms of quality requirement so bluebird is again a very very important project for global size and for us in india where we are coming up uh, in the next uh, 18 months this is a very very ambitious project for kalbais <coughs> where we are looking to scale up our uh, manufacturing operations uh, in a very big way and there is a very big roadmap what we have drawn already for the list of products that will be made in India. And again, what will this will happen? This will again give an opportunity for the Indian supply chain to supply to us. It, it, it gives an opportunity for us, for them to supply to us. And at the same time, when we start making in India, uh, we can focus all these products which are made in India to them and they can feel comfortable since this is made in India whenever it comes to an after sales requirement they don't have to bother it's already made in India everything is available here so this is this is the type of supply chain base what we want to develop in India and also India is also as as most of the suppliers are being looked at even Zeiss is looking at India to be the global supply base not only for finished products they are also looking at if this Zeiss India organization can support them in sourcing products from India to their global manufacturing to our global manufacturing locations so we have set up a small team who are going around suppliers in India who are identifying if some of the products that are made in India could be supported could be could be supplied to our global manufacturing locations so this this is the sort of I would say uh, an approach what Zeiss has when it comes to make in India and we are fully committed in the years to come. And I, I, I take two points from here. So I think there is an opportunity for Indian manufacturers who are manufacturing these components to reach out to Zeiss because until unless they have a strong local supply chain, yes. this project will not be fulfilled. And it is our uh, component manufacturer's responsibility to come up to the local and I think size will be all there to support in all technological advancement to come up to the level and you only need to reach out to them <laughs> yes. and it's a great opportunity yes. second thing also another point you told about how the aspiration of people i think uh, today two wheeler is a necessity where because of the traffic conditions what we have yeah. every city is coming out with metro yeah. not even a single even tier two cities are coming out with metro so that becomes the last mile and also since that connection is there People do not want that Marini 800. Today, I must. I think that India is one country which is having most manufacturers of SUVs are there. Yeah, correct. correct. Maybe yeah. crossovers. Even I am telling you, Tata Punch is also giving us a crossover between this. Hurry, I have one point. Yeah. So I just spoke to you about the automobile sector hmm. when we talk when we talk of make in India. When we slowly shift our focus out of automotive, there is big amount of supply chain, you know, which is moving to India be it in electronics, be it in medical implants, be it in power sector, when we look, when we are talking of windmills, when we are talking of high high capacity gensets and things like that. And then when, when, you, are, when you are looking at, I mean, electric vehicles, baggies, renewables, and then uh, electric vehicle components. So there are, I mean, big electric vehicle manufacturers today are looking at India as a huge supply chain base. So just look at the way the things are transforming, you know, defense. in the Indian market. Defense is again, aerospace. Defense, aerospace. I forgot aerospace. Aerospace is again a very, very big opportunity. And recently, you you also saw and heard uh, our beloved Prime Minister opening a big campus here in Bangalore. So aerospace is again a big industry that will come to India. So this not only showcases the capabilities and the competencies of Indian manufacturers. It was also a matter of pride and proud moment for every Indian here where this country is today progressing and, uh, and in this uh, growth of nation, if we have a very small role to play, I think we are the most luckiest guys, maybe I and you together, True. we are the most luckiest guys and you know we can tell the future you know that we also played a role in the growth of the country. 101 percent I am telling you. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy every day doing my job, you yeah. know, telling about these stories and which is very important and it inspires many people yeah. to see that and have the confidence in this market. See friends, it is not the multinationals is who are not having uh, the trust in Indian market. I have seen that. A company in Germany investing in India before when the market is not there because they visioned, okay, there is going to be a market. It is us today also, we tell that, okay, Indian products are not getting the right kind of uh, money. But money is comes with quality. 
Money comes with value. What you give? Yeah. Quality is no compromise. That's what we say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sir, sir, that's what I'm telling you. When we are talking about all these things, when I know that your products comes with advanced technology, so there is a lot of automation happening. There are a lot of human errors are able to be removed. Like even in this exhibition, your focus is on size quality suit. Yeah. So how these digital solutions can help a manufacturer yeah. to remove all those errors, do predictive maintenance, everything is there, yeah. but still, even a skill. 145 crore people, but still we are little bit challenged in the creating industry ready skill manpower. Yeah. What is it that you yeah. think uh, that has a point? Correct. Skill is definitely, uh, I would say, see again, there is no dearth of skill in India. There is enough amount of skill already available in India. Just that, you know, we need to channelize it to what the industry needs, a skill level, what the service industry would need, a skill level, what a manufacturing industry would need. So it is just that we need to channelize this skill. And again, government is doing a great job uh, with their skill initiatives, you know, in terms of having a data bank of various skills where companies can go access the data bank to look at how many, how many people who are available with that particular skill. So in this context also, what we as Zayas are doing is, we know the importance of, you know, this skill. Uh, and also, when we sell our machines, it becomes a sort of an obligation also for us that you know we need to one train the customer and also develop a skill bank you know in case there is a requirement for a customer you know at least we can tell them go and approach that skill bank so that this machine doesn't remain idle it keeps running for you so in that initiative we are actually working with some institutes now we are also working with our own uh, training the cell where we could train people where we can give that give that important skill that is required to run the machine and then help the industry whenever, you know, just for an example, uh, our flagship product is coordinate measuring machine. And you need a skilled operator to operate that. So for that, you know, if we as Zeiss, you know, don't have the data bank of skills, skill, uh, skilled people available, who will give? So, so in that direction, we are also trying to create the data bank at various locations and tell people that yes, our industry, our customers, that whenever you know you need a when you you need a person uh, who runs this machine, we can support you. So that is one. And then you touched upon digitization, digitalization, very very important topic you know when it comes to digitalization because uh, our machines, if you see, if there is no software. It is just a piece of hardware which can do nothing. So software today is a very, very important thing, uh, even when it comes to machines. And uh, and every day it is evolving. Every day there is a requirement from the industry which we need to meet. So so our softwares which are used in our machines, there is a very big investment what we do to hear the voices from various customers across the globe. And there is a very big development team which is sitting in Germany and also in India where we where we uh, tweak the software listening to all these feedback and support our customers with updates and things like that so and and and, and you spoke about ai see ai is the next uh, i would say machine learning and ai machine learning and ai are the next levels of what this industry will witness and if we are not investing in this then i don't think we can survive in this space so we are also aware of this we are also moving in that direction we are also invest, making a very big investment in software. In I mean, no India is probably the be, no better place can be than India yeah. when it comes to software and the talent that is available. So we are also investing in the software capabilities of India to support the global markets from here and also topics like AI, machine learning. These are some of the things which we are also investing in the future. So before concluding this uh, podcast, yes. I would like to ask you one question. Being uh, uh, German manufacturer, I think you have very strong sustainable goals. Yes. Uh, which uh, we in India still yet to come and understand the serious no seriousness of it. You need you, we we already witnessing that the uh, you know the climates are going heavier, and we also have certain goals which is given to us to be completed, which is taking up. But already a company uh, which have high values or high goals on sustainability. What is it that uh, your yeah. views when it comes to Indian manufacturing, how we can transform this, how we can create more awareness for manufacturers to adopt uh, these sustainable practices? Yeah, I think sustainability uh, for Zeiss, this is for Zeiss Global and also for Zeiss India, 
we are extremely committed to sustainability you know because uh, I, we have to make this world better for our children so that is the that is the goal and uh, not only as industries i think as a country we have made a promise that this will be a better place you know for the future so in that direction i think it becomes extremely important as industries you know we have to contribute to this and uh, and when you are talking of sustainability the new site which is going to come up has a big bunch of sustainable actions we have implemented when it comes to complete rooftop solar so that is what we are now building up and probably we will be self sufficient you know with that solar panels what we are putting on the rooftop we don't even have to buy the power from the grid so so this is one initiative you know which comes to my mind immediately and second thing also when you really you know uh, look at our solutions fast measuring time energy efficiency uh, less power consumption you know these are some of the ways in which you know what we could do from our side but also when you look at our campuses green campuses is something what we also want to promote so these are some of the initiatives but i still feel yes is it sufficient if you ask me no we need to do more but at least we are moving in that direction committed to the sustainable goals of our global size and also what is required for our country thank you sir actually i i can sit and talk with you for next one hour two hour about some of the points what you told beat quality and uh, second thing skill is something what i believe it is everyone talks or the, we can blame each other but i believe it is a cultural uh, challenges what india indians are facing from centuries yeah is 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 the challenge actually we need to work on that and that can only done by each and every individual like me it took years for me to understand okay where the problem lies problem lies not just with the government it never lies with the academies it never lies with the industries it lies with our home our ourselves and that will may take some time but the way the thought process what size is coming out with making their own training system and that helps but a larger goal we need to work same with sustainability very important points thank you very much for sharing your insights i'm sure that people will love this people will understand this and thank you for sharing your time and i wish you all the very best thank you hari and uh, before we close uh, i want to congratulate you for launching your machine maker magazine yesterday extremely happy you know to see a hard copy after you know many years you know it's been because today everything is on the mobile or on the internet but to have a hard copy in hand and you know seeing those pictures and reading you know i really felt very happy yesterday hari congratulations on this initiative of yours all the very best to you and your team and hope to see many more in the future thank you sir actually as you told us we had our print magazines but we also realized over my experience because 27 years i am into print and last 2 years i am little bit taken a back seat but we have previous to print but then just for printing we should not print what i feel today is that each and every action of ours should add some value and that is what we spoke to our team our magazine should not talk about advertising we don't want advertising we need readers and at least in that 100 pages if one page can add value to you you will keep it with us yeah. so our thought process is that and second thing is i i'm thinking like a b2b manufacturer right our cmm or our scan box needs to be identified each and every person every customer needs a scan box but with different thought process it is not the one thought process so my, our print edition also cannot go with this is for all so we are working on it and yesterday what you seen the launch is the issue launch that means every issue of machine maker will be launched with a theme and we are going to bring minds people uh leaders like him to come and look at this and also talk and even those talks are going to reach to the real people who are required we are not looking at 1 lakh readership we are not even looking at even 10000 readership if we are even having 10 readers who can make a difference through our efforts if they can bring value i think we are successful absolutely wonderful hari thank wonderful you thank you so much yeah. thank you